there's 30 days left, which means just like, ugh, just like do the work, just get it done. Like it's not, I'm not necessarily having fun, like, mm, what should I make? Like, oh, let's try this. It's like, no, just, you have to just do it. You don't have time to waste. So it's like more mature. because the butter was warm and the milk was cold, it's curdling. be like a freezable like make ahead thing but it's already been baking for 75 minutes which is a long time it's supposed to be a pre-made frozen like you make the casserole and then you freeze it so you can just bake it one morning but i feel like if it takes more than two hours to unthaw and cook that's like just make it and bake it and it'll be done in less time but everyone always wants like, everyone's always asking for like, freeze ahead, make ahead things. Everyone's trying to cut corners all the time, but it's like, I just don't think it really cuts corners. <laughs> anyway, so I'm trying to like, I'm trying to give people what they're asking for all the time, but I don't know if I like the idea of that. Well, it's good, it just doesn't make any sense of why you would do that. Because it took two hours to bake it. You could just make scramble, melt cheese on top, and then put, bake tots in the oven and you'd be done in like 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm trying to level up something so basic and common like a tofu scramble, which is what all vegans eat. So I had on my list like tofu scrambles going in the book because it's a staple. But I can't just put tofu scramble on a page and then like you flip the page and that's the end of that. It's like, I want to show you ways to level up the scramble like four times, like different options so that you're not bored of eating tofu scramble every day. Or if you're trying to convince vegan, uh, non-vegans what it's like to eat tofu scramble, because it's supposed to be eggs or egg-like, you're like, here it is in a Danish hand pie. You're like, whoa, that's impressive. I leveled up a tofu scramble. Like now I want to eat tofu scramble because it doesn't look like gelatinous sludge on a plate. So these are pre-made puff pastry with like that same idea, tofu scramble, cheese, vegan sausage, and this egg yolk sauce in the filling. So the idea is that it's like a breakfast pastry. But one thing is that I already messed up the division of the dough, so it's not accurate. Two, I wanna put everything bagel seasoning on it, which I didn't have. Uh, three, this puff pastry sucks. It's not the same kind I get in Canada. That's been some things that I don't have the same ingredients I'm used to using necessarily as I have in Canada, because I'm in LA. So this puff pastry is like, not good. It's not flaky or crispy, it's just like dough. Also, I must have overfilled these because they opened up and they should actually be more closed like this, but like these are bigger and they should, so they basically they'll be this size, not this size, this was a screw up, but I overfilled them. So they shouldn't be opening up like that. This one will definitely keep, I just have to perfect it. I don't have the right amount of filling. The puff, I gotta look for a different puff pastry. I gotta get the everything bagel seasoning. All that. On my list from the very beginning has been icebox pie three ways. Icebox pie is a no bake pie that goes in your icebox or your freezer and then you just cut and serve. I'm going to attempt the first one, which is a strawberries and cream icebox pie. This is probably a, one of the harder recipes, although it is supposed to be easy. Like once it's tested and done, it should be easy because it's no bake and you're just blending stuff together. However, 
when you're not using um, regular ingredients full of dairy and thick cream, it's not as easy to develop. This is condensed coconut milk. So see how it's gooey? I'm hoping that this is what helps the gelling aspect of this. It's already got sugar in it. And then we're gonna blend this. I wanna add coconut cream from a can of coconut milk. Well, sorry, it's a can of coconut cream. Well, this will help thicken it also. And then we're gonna add coconut whip, like already pre-made, store-bought, like cool whip. We wanna add both of these ingredients though. I guess maybe I should try without this first. Ugh. Pretty watery from those strawberries. When we freeze this it will be so sugary that it won't that it'll be like soft serve ice cream or like ice cream when you cut into it but not soft serve just ice cream it'll be like an ice cream cake basically i love this stuff it's like cool whip but it's vegan it's vegan cool whip <laughs> one cup two cups about two and a half The reason I'm using this is because it has all these like binders and stabilizers in it, which I'm hoping is what will help with this whole final result and the texture. Because in a way, this stuff almost doesn't ever freeze solid. It stays sort of mm, soft even once frozen. So that's a nice color. So it's really liquidy. What I hope is that this sets in the freezer proper. Otherwise, okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is just basically soup. This is the look I was going for. Oh yeah. That's the perfect amount. Oh, so that stays in there for, I don't know, I have to time it. This is this shitty part. So it's 5.52 right now. Oh, and I didn't put lemon in there. It's been almost three hours, just basically 10 minutes shy of three hours. So I'm gonna check the pie. It's still liquidy in there, I can tell. Basically, if I punch a hole in and then it fills with liquid, then it's liquid in there, so it's not ready. It should make a solid hole and I can tell by the feeling if it's done or not. So I don't think that's the correct formula, personally. So I'm gonna try something else, the orange filling. I'm gonna do a different, uh, a whole different thing. I'm gonna actually heat up the filling with agar, which is vegan gelatin. Let's see if that works. I'm just gonna melt this butter first. Vegan butter. Stingle, what are you doing to help today? So I was looking for a ginger snap cookie and I found them at Vaughn's. Accidentally vegan. Organic cane sugar. That's gonna be the crust for this. Orange one. Mmm. Mm. Very gingery. Uh-oh. It's too much 
butter in there. This is the whole bag of cookies. It probably still has too much butter because like, it's like leaving a buttery residue on my hand and the pretzel one didn't do that. It definitely needs like half a teaspoon of salt. Into the pie pan. It's too oily, I can feel it, but it'll still solidify for this. I'm gonna put this one in the fridge now. I'm so tired, this is stupid. But I have to wait for that pie to finish anyway because I have to keep track of the time. I can't go to bed. Because then that's like, you know, being frozen for like 16, 14 hours or something like that. I need to know when it gets to the right consistency. I mean, I really shouldn't be doing this right now because it's late in the day, which sometimes works, but I've already, you know, I started at 10.30. So I've already made a bunch of recipes today. Like this is pushing it basically. I'm like tapped out. I don't feel on top of it. Like I'm like all scatterbrained and just trying and I, this is when nothing works actually. <laughs> okay, so it's about three and one thirds cup. Dissolving the agar, which I think it's worked now, which is at four minutes. And then adding it to this. Alright, let's just fucking try this. It's pretty hard, so that's good. No, this is not gonna work. It's way too liquidy going into the fridge and it actually has all these bubbles in it. No, yeah, I can now see crust floating in there. I think I should just toss this. And I'm like steaming up the fridge. Messed up, Sinkle. It's not gonna work. Well, let's check on that other one. Now it's been almost Four hours. Goodbye, hot icebox pie. <laughs> I told you I shouldn't be doing this at this time because I already knew. Maybe I already knew and I just wasn't listening to my instincts and then obviously it wasn't gonna work. I'm not excited, but I'm gonna cut this pie just to see what happens. It's four hours, it seems soft but solid. You don't want it to be rock hard, and I don't even know if it would get rock hard, to be honest. Oh, it's a little liquidy still. <coughs> then I remembered I don't even have a pie lifter. <sighs> so that makes it even harder to get out because Pie lifter is a useful tool for a reason. Fuck. A little crust broke off. Oh yeah, it's like souping in the middle. Too sweet. It's feeling icy to me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Obviously those strawberries would be frozen. I can already tell if you left it in there, it would get rock solid, which is not good. It is a huge waste of time in a way, but 
In this case, I don't think it is because it's like, this one's a hard one to figure out and I'm gonna have to test it like a bunch of times. So whatever, this is just the first. I do definitely feel in this case, this has given me information to go off of. This has to go in the garbage, I'm sorry. Sometimes you have to waste food, unfortunately. That's like really awful, but no one would eat this. All right, well, back to it tomorrow.